Здравствуйте, товарищи, and welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. I am thoroughly excited for today's session, folks, as things are going rather smoothly. I mean, there are a couple of issues here and there, especially with the new developments at Uprising Grad, but that's all to be expected, of course. Growing pains, right? But overall, I mean, our export of fuel and bitumen is looking like it's right on track, pun of course entirely intended, uh, but beyond that as well, I was looking at a couple things between sessions and it does look like things are maybe, potentially, better than I had previously assumed or presumed, thought, better than I'd previously thought, and I'll get to exactly what I mean when we, uh, you know, kick things off, but folks, again, there's a lot to do as always, so I'm not going to bore you with a long introduction, just want to mention as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And with that said, let's get this party started, right? Uh, now, I'll actually, because we're over here, I'll touch on uh, what I was hinting at right at the end there first. Uh, though it's not what we're going to tackle first, I don't think. But if we take a quick peek at the uh, situation by, uh, by Novokropsky, you can see that we're actually doing pretty well over here as far as food production and crop production is concerned. I mean, uh, the agro farm itself has almost a thousand tons. We've got the uh, grain storage that has uh, about, you know, 400. Um, we've got uh, we've got lots of crops at the livestock farm. We've got lots of crops at the food factory. The uh, livestock farm isn't able to ship out any more livestock because we've got, you know, meat. Everything's backed up over here. Everything's backed up over here. So now that can either be a good thing I, again, I, so I, I looked around between sessions because I was just like, let's just do a quick overview of things that um, I might not discover while recording. I just like to, you know, stay up to date with, with circumstances that often aren't in our focus like that. Um, and so I saw that, but what I didn't check actually is uh, if it's the result of a jam. So maybe I should check that before I get too excited. But no, it looks like the roads are all clear. Everything's moving fine. There's no jamming going on. Um, and, and even over here, actually, we have some food... Uh, over here, we have, uh, we have, uh, in fact, back over here as well, if we take a look at the warehouse, we got 30 tons of food, we got lots of clothes, and uh, we even have lots of meat in the area. Like, this is really good, actually. Uh, this might mean that we can ship food and meat from Train Rexky uh, across the river, maybe, uh, down to feed the people at Uprising Grad and Brixtonia and all that. So, very promising. Uh, but I do want to see if, uh, if, if things are... are if being efficiently managed over here or not, and if we add some more fields over here, uh, and if we're able to make a smooth export, well, I say export, I mean like, you know, intranational, not international, but intranational uh, export between Trainrexky down to, um, uh, down to uh, Zavodsk and bring the food further down, if we can make a smooth kind of uh, path, I guess, uh, then, then Novokropsky can really feed a large chunk of the nation. Anyway, exciting times. I just want to touch on that because, uh, I, I, again, things like things are looking up, which is uh, maybe maybe we're jinxing ourselves. Uh, but let's get ready to hit play because there's a lot to work on. I want to make sure that we are seeing some progress. You know, down over here, up at uh, the uh, vehicle production area as well. Uh, we're going to double speed a lot of today, I think. But first, really quickly, let's take a look at our population stats as we are nearing that 50k mark. Pretty exciting times. We are also seeing a you know. Again, another rise in the 21 pluses living with their parents, but that's going to be constant. Uh, we can only, like, Uprising Grad is reaching a bit of a, uh, I, I would call it a breaking point. Um, so again, there's some really good stuff going on, but there's also some stuff we have to be uh, worried about or, or cognizant of at the very least. And one of those things is, uh, is a situation here where we are very populous. Um, without meeting the needs of the people. So, I, you know, before I grow any further and before we look for more housing opportunities, you know, over here as we expand that satellite city I keep talking about, uh, I want to make sure that these guys' needs are met at the very least first. So, that's something to think about for the adults, uh, the 21 pluses, I mean. Unemployment, again, it's been kind of fluctuating, but it is pretty high. A big part of that is because of the transit situation. Uh, and I think that's one of the first things we're going to solve today, actually. Um, yeah, might be. Otherwise, we're looking pretty good. I mean, loyalty's on the way up. Everything's looking pretty good overall. Um, though this, this has dropped a little bit, I think, over the last little while. Let me just back this up a little bit. I think this has dropped a bit. Yeah, it looks like it, it the, just the slightest bit. And I think it's because we have all these new houses, uh, without access to, uh, resources. Uh, with that said, though, access to resources, we've got these trains working smoothly. 
as far as we've seen. We've seen them do a, a round or two. And it does look like fuel... Well, fuel has just arrived over here. You're dumping it right now. So fuel and bitumen are here. Uh, actually, before I hit play... Sorry, I, I want to do it right away, but um, I want to organize the movement of fuel and bitumen so that it's... Uh... Are you not able to pick up fuel from here to... Yeah, okay. Oh, no, okay. Okay, I see what's going on. I see what's going on. Sorry. Uh, this is like store, like local storage, and this is like storage out over here. Fair enough. Um, I just want to make sure that we have oil tankers and stuff moving already so that we are... Uh, so that we are... being more efficient, I suppose, with the movement of, of, uh, of fuel and bitumen. Uh, now, in order to buy these tankers, we're going to go ahead to this dock over here. And as much as I would love to have built these ships myself as well, because you can, you can build ships um, in the game. That's a lot to do before, you know, in a short amount of time. We're not going to be able to do that. So we're just going to buy these ships and uh, future ships and future trains and stuff. We'll look into preparing the production mechanisms for them. Now, unfortunately, using dollars, we're not able to get anything that isn't a passenger ferry, uh, which is, again, something we'll want to consider later on, maybe. But using the rubles, we have a lot of options. Now, again, these are going to be oil tankers, right? So cargo ships, there are a couple of options. There are a couple of options. I'm thinking um, the, fu the fuel-in tanker, the, f the fuel-in tanker, huh? Uh, is the way to go. Again, it's only 1.1 million. It's funny calling that only. Um, we have some other options as well. This one's, wow, 3 million? Oh my god. Mm. Eight knots, eight knots, okay. A lot more carry capacity, but I don't think we'll ever have that much to carry at a single time. Well, I say ever, I mean in the near future. So kind of pointless, I would say, given the current circumstances. I would rather go with this uh, rather than like overdo it. Sure, let's go ahead and buy one of you for now. Yes, let's go ahead and buy one of you. Let's, let's try this, right? So I'm so excited. Let's get this tanker out. And your route is going to be starting over here. You're going to load up on fuel. Set this to 50%. And you're going to load up on bitumen. Set this to 100%. Because, again, it was pointed out to me in the comments, rightfully so. This is a very confusing way of setting this. But it's not a matter of how much of the load it will fill, but a matter of how full it should become. You know what I mean? Like, at the end of the first load, it should be 50% full. Which we can set by going right down to zero and then up in tens. There we go. Uh, and then at the end of the second load, it should be 100% full. That's what this is saying. As opposed to load 50% of 850 and load another 50% of 850. It's, a, it's, a, it's very weird. <laughs> I think at least. So that's going to be the first thing we do. Then we're going to go up over here. And we're going to unload... Um, I'm gonna say we're gonna unload, let's say, let's say 50% of fuel and bitumen, and then we're going to go beyond the borders of the Soviet countries. Now, where I think we might need to make a change, this is why I want to test it first, is we might need to actually get a second tanker that, uh, only does export beyond the borders, but what I'm hoping is that by the time, so this ship's gonna come down over here, pick up stuff, drop it off over here, I'm hoping that by the time all those resources get used up, this ship will be back and doing another loop. Uh, reality is, this is a lot of fuel and a lot of bitumen. I don't think it's going to get used up before this entire circuit is done. But there's only one way to find out, right? So let's go ahead and unload 100% of everything. Yes, that's great. Let's go ahead and get you started, launch you. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. I want to watch this uh, maiden voyage kick off. Say, you know, farewell to our boat. And... Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll take, take on the, the massive task of uh, the transit situation at Uprising Grad. Um, now, when I say situation there, I do mean a, a, a situation. Oh, this is great, though. This is great. We waited so long for this. Also, are these reflections on the water new? Like the reflections of the fields? I don't remember them the last time we looked at a, at a, at a, at a ship kick off its maiden voyage. Off you go, buddy. Off you go. Oh, look at that. Just, I don't know, there's something about this view that's just like... Off in the distance, you can see those buildings. You've got this, like, beautiful structure over here. Oh, the bridge and everything. Man, 
so cool. All right, so hopefully this will be not just profitable, but also functionally uh, fruitful. Let's go ahead and make sure that this thing is being built. Is it missing? What are you missing? Missing boards. Hmm. Still don't have boards over here, do we? I might actually just buy some. Still no boards. What's the problem up over here? Are we... We've got wood. Again, we recently planted some trees. I don't know if that's good enough. Missing wood, missing... Yeah. I'm tempted to just buy some boards, honestly. I'm also tempted to just... potentially pay for this. We've dropped off all the steel and bricks. Not very expensive to build. Less than 100k. Literally 27 tons of boards. Literally 27 tons of boards are, are, are keeping us. Now, right, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and... Purchase some boards over here. One-time purchase of, let's say, 56 tons. Sure. And now hopefully the construction offices will, will deliver it. I don't know. It just feels like the right thing to do. <laughs> Maybe I'm horribly wrong. We'll get all that set up, though. It'll take some time for the ship to get here and, and move stuff over. We'll, 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 get all, we'll get it all set up. You do take some time to empty out. That's okay. Good to, good to kind of get an idea of how long things take. And the other thing is, like, bitumen. Do we really need it across the river over here? I mean, I've got room for it. What was it that needed it? It was like, there's some production that we're doing up over here that does need it. I need to get oil up here as well. Um, maybe that's what I should do is oil and, and bitumen instead of, or oil and fuel as opposed to, um, fuel and bitumen. But we'll, we'll, again, we'll tackle that afterwards. Let's go ahead and deal with this situation over here. Uh, again, this kind of jamming is our, is our major problem. Um, and I think we can go ahead and do it while at double speed. It, it hurts to see the years go by, but I think that's uh, maybe a necessary call. And there's also some stuff I want to do over here in terms of uh, food distribution. I want to rework our food distribution systems. I want to make sure that things are uh, moving a bit more um, smoothly. Um, oh, this isn't bad. But I think what, what I need to do is I need to build a local uh, distribution hub, much like we have up at Veterinkograd. But first, but first, let's get to work over here. Um, if I'm going to put down that modded station this uh not the extra small one but the large one over here right that was the plan got a pretty good connection to everything it should be easy enough to manage i wonder if i want to pull it back a little bit further so that vehicles don't back up over here you know uh, and over here we want to have a vehicle storage lot so we just want to keep that in mind as well we want to make sure we're not uh getting in the way of that shouldn't be a problem uh, i could also do this kind of a thing so it is more of a, a loop. Go up and around and in. Part of me was wondering actually about building a like a highway kind of a thing off to the side. But I don't think the game understands highways like, you know, like it should. Because I believe the game is only looking for the shortest uh, distance between two points. Not necessarily the fastest distance between two points. Now I might be mistaken. Uh, but I don't think I am. Because it'd be great if we could have, like, yeah, like a little highway bridge kind of a thing going on off to the side over here. And, uh, and, and distribution offices would understand that it's faster to use that route than, uh, than to go right down the middle. Because you can't give waypoints to, um, uh, you, you can't assign waypoints to a, uh, distribution office. It's only to, like, vehicles that you're giving custom routes to. So, you know, that's a bit of a, a bit of a problem, uh, with regards to implementing... Uh, with regards to implementing, like, a highway kind of a thing. But I'm going to leave the room for it, and, and, and maybe it will work. Maybe it'll actually work. Go ahead and connect this. There we go. It works pretty nicely. I feel like we could have maybe done a better job of it. Oh, this is where things get messy. Trying to delete these paths, these roads, I mean. Especially the ones in the middle here. I don't want to refine this any further. You know what? It'll probably cause more trouble than it's worth just to get this a little bit neater. Uh, but yeah, the idea is this is a straight road connection up to here, so people can walk more easily. A little janky, but that's probably the best we're going to get, so that's fine. Uh, and yeah, what I was thinking with regards to a highway kind of a thing is like if we were to do, um, let's say, let's say I'm just I'm just throwing this out there, the concrete bridge raise you up. Try and get you to match again. It can't uh, turn at the same sort of uh, rate as a regular road, I don't think. 
But maybe. Angle is too sharp. Oh, I thought I saw it. Yep. Nah, see, like, we have to be... Pretty picky with this. I, I, I again, I, I don't know if this will work. But if it does, it would be worth it, you know? Temperature infrastructure. Okay, we can do that. Can you keep... Oh, yeah, a little bit there. Okay, there we go. Okay, you know, that's following the shape better than I'd expected, honestly. Keep going around this way. Keep going around this way. There we go. Going straight down. Ooh, you know, I'm kind of liking this. I'm not going to lie. Like, this area is not as smooth as I would like it to be, but... But it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Right, so we can keep on going over. How tall is this overpass? Tall enough for a road to go under. We saw this already over here, so that's good. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm doing this while this is getting built up over here. Using the resources in, in our nation to do that. Okay, we can do this. Go ahead and cross this area as well. Like so. I know you'll fit. I know you'll fit. Just a matter of finding that sweet spot. And now again, it's I call it a highway in the most like by the most flimsiest of uh, of, of 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 terms. Um, it's not doing everything like we're not going to have an on ramp and an off ramp. I don't know if the game is really equipped for that kind of stuff. Um, may, maybe it is. I don't know if if I want to deal with the the way the roads and stuff work and building the one ways and stuff in a in a pre existing area particularly uh, in a pre existing area particularly. Um, so, you know, yeah, calling it a highway is maybe, uh, maybe a little gratuitous, a flyover or an overpass, if you will, uh, an express, a, a pair of express lanes, maybe we should call it that, because what we can do, yeah, see, like, this way you can bypass all this nonsense over here, get down to here, and we can split the road up over here, you can either continue on down to here or like if you're taking the car right like once cars are in in, in the nation to drive up this way get past all the nonsense over here to end up in the parking lot over here or to drive down this way and end up at one of the parking lots over here i feel like that makes sense you know what i mean like i feel like that would work quite nicely actually i really want to experiment with that now okay let's go ahead and get you down here first though there we go, and down one more step. Right, I believe we're down now, yep. And then the road would you kind of go like parallel for a bit, I suppose. I think I'll wait until the sun rises so I can off this more properly. And this was all the concrete bridge, so it will look quite nice, I think. I think it'll look quite nice. Uh, I'm actually really excited. This was not part of the plan at all. <laughs> But I'm really excited to get uh, get this done now. Well, I say it wasn't part of the plan. I wasn't planning on executing this today. I was planning on just, like, expressing my thoughts. But really, with the amount of money we have, if it doesn't work as I want it to, I can just get rid of it, and it won't really hurt me that much. I won't really be that upset, because financially, we're doing more than okay. All right, cool. Uh, while it's nighttime, though, I do want to... Again, I want to keep things rolling here. You are out of fuel. That is ironic, to say the least. Um... Why are you out of fuel? Why did you not fill up over here? Can't send you over there. Hmm. Interesting, can you not refuel at a at a pumping harbor? Cuz you can at one of these uh cargo harbors. Well, that's a bit of a downer. Let's go ahead and send you back to the depot. Hmm. Okay, let me try something here. If I add... Yeah, it looks like it's going to go over here to fuel up first. Let's keep an eye on it. Let's keep an eye on it. Definitely not the behavior I expected out of it, but uh, I'm glad I came up here. Now, the sun is back up, but I still want to see how this behaves really quickly before it turns out we're not taking advantage of this massive source of, of money we have because of something silly like this. Like, where are you headed? Are you... 
You going up there? That doesn't make any sense. No, you're looping around. Okay. Okay. You coming back to here? Or... Because, like, I mean, I know it's supposed to be coming back to here, but it didn't start moving until I added this cargo harbor. So maybe it's coming over here to fuel up. Let's, let's, let's see. Let's see. Very interesting. I, again, these are the times that I wish I could actually speed time up a little bit more. No, you are coming back down over here. Like, I wouldn't mind if its route ends up being... Well, once it's full, it's, it's a different story when it's full versus when it's empty, right? Alright, you're going to arrive over here. And what happens? What happens? Okay, here you are. And nothing. Okay. So let's force you over to the cargo harbor and hopefully you'll fuel up over there. Meanwhile, we have a fire. Meet storage at Uprising Grad. Oh, no. I think someone should be responding. Yeah, we've got a response team coming right away. Good stuff. Put that out. Yeah, there was a fair bit of meat we would have lost. That would not be ideal. Okay, wow. This is already done. Great. Oh, my God. Why are there so many workers waiting here? Why are there so many workers waiting here? Where are they coming from? Um, yeah, these trains are clear. You know, part of me wonders if I like this downhill. Um, I don't hate it, actually. I go up and then down this way. And it flattens for a little bit and then it goes... Again, it's a, it's a, it's a hilly terrain as well, right? Like, the terrain has its own undulations, too. And we come over here, we drop a bit, because again, the terrain has its own. That's a pretty pretty hefty drop. I think we're fine, though. I think we're fine. Allows us to drop down the ground over here. I think we're fine. Okay, um, it's it's a little it's a little bit of an up and down ride, but I guess uh Maybe we can maybe we can fix some of these spots though. Th this this one in particular is bothering me. This one in particular is bothering me. I wonder if we can't um, do something about that. Maybe smooth this a little bit. Maybe smooth this just a little bit. Concrete bridge. Oh, come on. Look onto the right thing. There we go. Angle is too sharp. There we go. I think that's better. Yeah, that's that's significantly better. Again, a, a little bit of undulation is okay, but that was like a huge like roller coaster ride kind of situation. And here again, we are we are dealing with some pretty uh, rolling hills type terrain, so I'm okay with some up and down. I, I think it's reasonable. Again, it is a video game at the end of the day, right? I would like this to be smoother, but the game has its limitations. Anyway, uh, over here. Okay, so this is interesting. I do not want you to accept workers or passengers. Or students to wait here. I want all workers to go to the train. And the way I want people to get there is through these um, lines. Now, here's what I'm thinking. The first way I'm going to do this is we're going to view line details. And rather than going to trolley bus stop number two. Well, okay, actually, you know what? Fine. These guys can go here. Let's go ahead and auto build the trolley bus roads up over here. They get that done. And I've commissioned the highway. This is what I really don't like about the auto build button. Go ahead and cancel all these contracts now because I, again I want to make sure the end of this works properly. This is what I don't like. I wish the auto build button only applied to things that you are about to put down as opposed to things that you have already put down. Guaranteed I'm going to miss a thing. He's got you, got you, got you, you as well. And especially when it's like in pieces like this. Oh my god. I'm going to click on each like <laughs> bit that's turned around. And then later on we're going to have to uh, go ahead and... Well actually you know, it'd, be, it'd be nice to have this be uh, built by the nation I suppose. And you suspend you. Okay. And you... If I miss one section, I'm not going to be that upset. It's not like it's the end of the world. Again, we, we have money now. It's less of a stress point. 
I suppose. I'm saying things to make myself feel better, I think. Cancel you, you're already cancelled up there. Okay, almost done. Almost done. Especially the big ones, I guess. Or the ones I want to make sure that uh, don't cack up. Now again, I could have made this a uh, trolley bus bridge as well, but I don't think I want trolley buses using this path. I want the trolley bus to go through the center. Like, it's to me, that's like cool. Uh, that's iconic, you know, almost. Alright, let's go ahead and... Yeah, I missed a section over here. Not the end of the world, and a section over here. It's fine. It's fine. Um, trolley buses connect you over here. That's what we really need. Okay, for you. That's how I should have done it. That's entirely on me. Okay, so everyone's leaving here now. Good. What I wanted to do was... You guys are fine, but where are our trolley buses? You. Edit your line. So rather than stopping over here, we're stopping over here. Yes, unload. Here, let's do this. Get rid of trolley bus stop number two. Accept those changes. And hopefully, but how are you? You can't go up that way. You're a trolley bus. Okay, well, hopefully this fixes the current situation that we have. Let's see, right? Because what should happen now is the buses that are dropping off workers should still be stopping over here, but the trolley buses will go on. Did I not save you? I did save you. I guess the, the trolley buses that are already headed here are going to head here first. I'm hoping that alleviates some of the pressure here. Now, while that's happening, we'll come back to check on that in a moment's time. I want to see the situation here. Look at that. It took. It takes so long. I mean, granted, some of that time was spent paused, but it takes so long. Um, that ship to move. It's a pretty slow ship, I suppose. Get a train over here. Fair enough. Fair enough. I guess when two trains overlap like this... Traffic slows down a bit more than, than usual. Off you go. The workers over here, they, they come in droves. They come in droves. Alright, we've been unleashed. Off you go, off you go. Everyone's moving. These guys are making a trip to drop fuel off as well, which is a big part of the jam as well at present, I think. Like, when fuel gets used up in other parts of the nation. You guys are coming through. It's just, it's just it, right? It's like all these vehicles that don't necessarily need to use this middle path. I wish there were... Like, there were mods, I think it was. I don't think it came in the base game, but there were mods for City Skylines where you could say which vehicles were allowed on which roads and things like that. I would love for something like that uh, in this game. Because it's also very realistic. Like, you get roads that have, like, oh, no buses beyond this time, no cars beyond this, or outside of these times, or whatever, right? Um... Oh, looks like uh, the, sh the ship has done its job, by the way. Has it? Have you? Oh, when you look at that, it is able to fill up on fuel over here. I was told I needed a pumping harbor to get fuel, but then I was told that, no, this is only fuel to to put into ships. Turns out that's not the case. <laughs> Turns out that's not the case. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We, we still needed another thing for... Oh, no, you know what? We could have totally done bitumen on here as well. No time for regrets, though. Uh, the only unfortunate thing is that this first shipment is going to be... This first shipment is going to be fuel only. We're kind of coming here pointlessly, so let's just get, uh, get 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 this over with. What's the deal over here? Still missing boards. Why? Where are you picking up boards from? The sawmill directly. Oh no, that's not right. Sorry for the little edit there. They're uh, cleaning our windows at present, and the audio was coming through on the mic, and I obviously didn't want that included. Uh, so a quick cut. Didn't do anything, obviously. Um, we were just about to fix where our boards are acquired. Uh, this is certainly an oversight. Um, good thing we haven't needed this in a long time. Go ahead and swap you over. There we go. That that should do the trick. 
Though you are now without boards as well. Where do those boards get taken to? Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what happened? Yes, they got taken down over here. Party, 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 party. You gotta remember your entire chain. Do not load the boards for export. Thank you. Whoops. Right, it's okay. It's not the end of the world again. We have a lot of money. You, you know what? Okay, this is this is silly. Let's just go ahead and, and, and pay for this distribution office, I think. Oh, it just hurts so much. We're so close. We're so damn close. But we'll, we'll just pay for it. However, uh, let's take this opportunity to fix um, this issue, though. Because I will guaranteed forget about it. And then it'll be, it'll be a problem later. Uh, so the boards are from the open storage. Okay. Well, some of them have it set right, I guess. Your boards are from the sawmill. So let's go ahead and change that around. I'm glad I saw this. Uh, let's go ahead and change yours around as well if necessary. Boards are from the sawmill. Yep. I guess it was a time when this was uh, best. There was a time when the boards were in, in such a surplus um, sawmill as well. That we had a, a backup of boards at the sawmill. But those that, 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 <laughs> these are not those times. These are not those times. Boards, go ahead and get you over here. All right, great. Right now, when hopefully we'll get boards coming through soon, because uh, we got trees back up over here. It's just a matter of getting people down over here. We've got wood coming through. We've got hmm, maybe not quickly enough. All right, maybe maybe something we have to like just check in on soon. Maybe something we have to check in on soon. Actually, on the topic of checking in on 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 things, I just realized this was pointed out in the comments, uh, and I just realized I forgot to limit amounts over here. Uh, sorry, not electronics. We need plastics basically maxed out. Right now, crops aren't coming through because we are, uh... We have too many plastics over here. Um, mm, I let it get, I, I let it get to here. I let it get to here. We could have stored some more plastics probably. No, we're actually topped up over here. This needs to start being emptied out soon. I really hope the, uh, tracks are being built. Last I saw, we were making some decent progress, but... Looks like we're jammed now, so that hurts. That's the, that's the downside of double speed. I have to check on this stuff more often. I'll, I'll need to check why that happened. Okay, well, this adjustment's not going to do anything for a little while, but to be fair, it's not like we're going to be producing too much uh, in this area for a little while. Anyway, let this be as is for now. We might want to adjust this again in the future, but uh, just gotta uh, I got to check on the, train, the, the track construction. Uh, down over here, let's go ahead and just pay for this. What? Numbers went up. Fine, let's just pay for this. It's not that expensive. Not that expensive. Uh, go ahead and hit play. Well, double speed, I guess. And over here, go ahead and clear you out. Go ahead and clear you out. Get these guys moving. I'm wondering, actually, why they got jammed up like that again. Hmm. Look at that. This little section got done over here. I don't remember doing that previously, but... You're off, yeah. Up over here, have we made progress? Yeah, this thing's done. Wow, we made a lot of progress up over here, actually. So that's good. We're both going down this way. We do have a crossing up over here. Hmm. Well, we'll keep an eye out. We'll keep an eye out. All right, good. Progress. Yeah, because I was really hoping that double speed would help get that done sooner, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Now, what's up over here? Are we seeing... People coming through. Are we seeing the trolley buses coming through, or, or what's happening? Okay. Looks like we've got a split. Again, some coming down over here, some going further up. That's fine. That's fine. It does look a little bit better over here right now. There we go. Up over here. And a bunch of people pour out. They're all passengers who look like they are going straight to... Yes, the shopping center, where unfortunately there isn't enough food or meat. There's still something we have to uh, Im improve on there, obviously. And what's the deal down over here? Yeah, we gotta get that uh, supply going. This looks like it's a bit better now. It's, it's all I'm kind of like checking on right now is like, is this, is this better? I wonder if the workers should be taken up to here as well. Yeah, I, I think so. I think so. Let's go ahead and... You're fine. Some of them will still stop over here. The major one. Yeah, this one. I think it's better stopping over here and people will be able to walk to the train station. 
Let's go ahead and view line details. Rather than this bus stop, I would like you going to this stop, unloading all the workers, get rid of you, done. All right. We'll see how that works. We'll see how that works. Now, apart from that, over here, I wanted to get this done as well. This road would... Watch, it's going to turn to nighttime right now, obviously. Go parallel for a bit. Well, right, here, let's just cancel this. I don't like the uh, the shape that was taken. Okay. Go like so. Like so. Then we'll, we'll, we'll join up over here. But we want it to be two ways, obviously, so we want to join right to the middle. Uh, might even do that over here or something, so there's like a full-on crossing from left to right. Yeah, well, let's wait until the sun comes back up. Just my luck. Over here, these guys are still moving smoothly, it looks like. Okay, that's good. That's promising. And all the way up over here. Alright, how do we get... Alright, wow. That happened fast. Fuel got dropped off, and now you're headed off to export. Is that right? Yes, now you're headed off to export. Okay. We just have this over here with nothing. I realize I didn't explain this, by the way. We just have this over here with nothing so that it can refuel over here on its way, you know, through the loop. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm fine with there not being bitumen over here for the first go around. It's not the end of the world. But let us go ahead and purchase some tankers over here. Um, AMZ. By the way, it's been uh, it's been asked why I all of a sudden have access to all these older vehicles. I've been told many times that at a certain point, at a certain date, all old vehicles become available for purchase. So uh, I guess we've hit that date. At least with rubles. I don't know about dollars. Um, oh, hello. Five tons versus the KMZ will almost certainly do more. 16 tons, yeah. Fire over here being put out. Yep, excellent. All the babies have been saved. <laughs> Thank God. Um, but yes, let's go ahead and purchase. Let's go with five for now. I want you to go ahead and load fuel over here. And where do we need to drop it off? We need to drop it off. Okay, what's the best way to do this? I I, I think um, the better way to do this is to look at fuel. Set it to 3,000. And then find where we have some fuel. And you see, because now it'll highlight not just one building type, but everywhere that fuel is purchased. I'm going to go ahead and add you. Go ahead and add you. These are all unloads. Yep. Looks like they're already on their way out. Good stuff, good stuff. Add you as well. Okay. I got a better angle here. Trying to do it from like in trying to do it like a like a radius, if you will. Should add some of these guys as well. You over here. Not one up there. There's not one down here. Okay, just one central spot for refueling, I guess. You're all done, you're all done. No. Over there we go. You up over here. Got you. 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 Couple up there. Lots up there. Let's check down over here first, because we have this one. We've got this one. That one's like rarely used, I think. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Up over here. But you guys, again, one of those is a uh, forklift garage, right? Like, that's just that there's like a vehicle, well, there's a variety of, of building types that need it. And over, uh, no road connection to this building, eh? Done. And add you as well. Go ahead and up this to 90%, keep these things filled up. And there you have it. That should be all of the fuel that needs delivering. Now, I vastly underestimated how many spots there were. Let's go ahead and add some more. There, let's do 10. They should immediately be rolling out. Yeah, there you go. Already on their way. These guys are already on their way back. Okay, they must have delivered to the no more nearby areas. Oh, this is so cool to see. It's, it's, it's happening, folks. It's finally happening. This is wild. This is wild. I kind of wish I had like a two-way, like I had the uh, the other one that allows in and out. Not the end of the world, but 
this is working just fine. We got this dirt road right now. I could upgrade this to a proper road, and I think I might just. Are we stuck over here? Tram. Okay. Not a problem. This is all still moving smoothly. Yeah. All right. Good, 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 good. Good stuff. Okay, cool. Wow. We might actually stop importing fuel very soon. <laughs> might turn that into exports. This is wild. Up over here. Yeah, look at that. Instantly cleared up. Now, obviously, the train is still going to cause a little bit of slowdown, but we're fine with that. A little bit of slowdown is not the end of the world. Not the end of the world at all. But let's go ahead and build this bridge. I think I think it works. Oh, okay. Let the sun rise. We'll check our end over here. And again, if I have to delete it, if some of y'all point out a major flaw with this or a way we can improve it, that's fine by me. We'll, we'll go ahead and do that. But overall, I think this will work. I just want to check while it's nighttime. Is construction still ongoing over here? Looks like it. Got a good bit of progress made already on the tracks. God, I wish I'd noticed that jam sooner. And down over here, we got the distribution office done. Excellent. Oh, you know what I want to do? I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to check to make sure. Uh, I guess we should... I guess we could start building some of these, right? Well, this needs to get done first. Hmm. 355 times. Okay. First, let's deal with this. Now the sun's up. Go ahead and get you... Connect over here. Over here. Uh, can we angle you out like that? Nah, that's not very neat. Going like so. And then... Maybe a little bit further. Can we... No, too sharp of a turn. Okay. Guess we have to do it this way then. Pull this up and connect over here. No. Not gonna like that. It's too too tight. Too tightly packed. The reason why it's so tightly packed is, isn't because I want it to be... Um, I want to be like super space efficient or anything like that. It's just that it feels more like real. You know, to have like a road... Oh, I think it's called a bi-lane. I'm not 100% sure. But have a road side by side like this. That's one thing though. Let's go ahead and get the uh, other path sorted as well. Um, pull you up this way, I suppose. And loop back. Hmm. Tight loop like this. Tight loop like this. We match the curve of the, uh, a little overpass over here. Somewhat. Don't like that. There, that, that kind of works. I think once it's made into a proper road, it'll work better. So yeah, I mean, hopefully, I don't, it's not going to be used properly. I just know it. I just know it's not going to be used properly. But it's fun to try. All right, let's go ahead and commission this bridge. Continue construction. Yeah, you're not going to be auto-built. Okay, good. And continue your construction as well. Now, I'm pretty sure this is well within auto-build radius, so... I'm pretty sure that these will all get automatically assigned as, um, like, as one piece completes, another one will get assigned. If this is not done in, you know, a handful of minutes, I will go ahead and uh, auto-build this, just pay for it all. I in double speed, I expect it to be done pretty soon. Oh, sorry. In double speed, I expect it to be done pretty soon. But we'll, uh, we'll see. Because, again, we have, uh... We have construction offices very nearby, concrete and gravel available nearby, like, we should be good. We should be good. And again, it'll be like our first, uh, first overpass of the nation to have it built completely by, uh, by our own, um, construction facilities and stuff would be pretty nice, I think. I don't know, maybe, 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 maybe I care more about that stuff than, uh, than most do, but I just think there's something... That's what, that's part of what makes this game so cool and special to me, is like, you can do that, you know? Not just dropping down shapes. Alright, cool. Well, well, we'll see, we'll see how that works, if it works. If it doesn't, again, we'll, we'll just pay for it. If it's taking too long or anything like that. Meanwhile, over here, progress continues, no jamming, good stuff, good stuff. Money's looking fantastic. Is our tanker out? I think it is. Have we already exported our first lot of fuel we have not a lot oh my god look at that money though <laughs> not ridiculous oh yeah, yeah yeah the tanker's back already all right let's actually see now if it loads properly right 
So it went to the cargo harbor, didn't load up on anything, but it did fuel up, it looks like. So that worked out perfectly, excellent. Now it's over here, it's going to load up 50% of its tankers with fuel, which should be 425 tons, which we're almost at. There we go, beautiful. Now it's going to leave and come back and then add the bitumen, which is a little unfortunate. But from my understanding, that's the only way to do that on one ship. You cannot have two different quantities. Uh, and if you set it to 50% and you check two things, then it'll do 50% of both. I mean, I could try 100% with two things checked. Maybe that'll work as a perfect split. Um, the reason why I don't want it to be... Well, the reason why I don't want to do that is because what if I change my mind and I go, okay, I want it to be 75, 25 or something like that, right? That's the, uh, that's the big thing. The big question mark over there. Looks like we're... Yeah, looks like the jobs are getting done over here. These, uh, these tankers are finally able to sit down and, and rest. Wow. Oh man, that's, <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. Alright, you're coming back now. I just want to see bitumen getting loaded up, and then I'll be able to rest easy knowing that this is working how it's supposed to. And these trains, I'm pretty sure, have been moving smoothly. We'll check if there's a jam. There might be, because there's construction going on, right? There might be. Though this tells me there isn't. We'll check. Better safe than sorry. Which is why we're here right now, just checking on this. Come on, buddy. Get down over here, and... It's funny how when it had no fuel, it would stop right, right at the edge. No, it did not pick up fuel. Or, or bitumen. Why? Why is that? Why is that? There's a lot available. Don't tell me one tanker can only transport one resource. Not the end of the world. We'll just get another tanker. But... Okay, good. There's a fire truck and there are firefighters here. Okay, great. Good stuff. Wanted to check. Um... Not the end of the world, it's not that expensive or anything. Maybe I'll look into that afterwards. I'll see if any of y'all have any insights, feel free to share in the comments as always. But, uh, that's not ideal, I would say. We, again, we can make it work, it's just not ideal. There's the fire truck arriving over here, I think. No, that is a vehicle that is red, like a car. Um... Fire truck was called. I'm down over here, I would assume. Where... Oh, there we go. They're there. Two of them. I was like, uh, where are you guys at? There we go. Beautiful. All the students saved. Wonderful. Now yeah, this is still okay. This is still okay. I can see this being built. Yeah, you know, this might take forever. <laughs> might take forever. Down over here is being built as well. We'll be able to attack it from two angles, though, so there's that. Again, construction is also employment. Let's not forget. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> Maybe a little problematic. Are, uh, in, on, on the topic of employment. Uh, but hold on, on the topic of problems. You are down over here, fueling up. That's okay. Where's our other train? Making your way over, I assume. Oh, making your way back. Alright, yeah. Looks like there's no jam there. Um, there's no point waiting over here. We need to get another tanker right now. Go ahead and purchase... Yep, another tanker. You are going to start here. You're going to load bitumen. You're going to go up over here. You're going to unload 50% of the bitumen. And then you're going to go beyond the borders. After going beyond the borders, you will arrive over here to fuel up. Not going to load anything or unload anything. Yes. Go there first. Whoops. Go there first so that they fuel up, and then it'll start the cycle. The bitumen. You, meanwhile, again, we've learned our lesson here. No, okay, this needs to be unload 25%. Yeah, I really don't like how... The numbers work. Okay, well, now it can be 50, because again, we're changing this, right? Changing this. Let's get you back down over here, buddy. Set this up to 100%. Turn bitumen off. Yeah, okay, now it'll work how it's uh, supposed to. Okay, it's okay. We, we learned. That's all that matters. We know what's going on over here now. We'll just uh, take that into account is all, is all that matters. 
And we've got, uh, you know, too much bitumen over here, maybe even too much fuel. Yeah, wow, jeez. We gotta work faster over here, a lot faster. But it does look like fuel has been delivered everywhere. Um, 41 tons, 17 tons only over here. I guess it gets used up pretty quickly, but... Oh, no, it just it stores less. No problem there, 44, 41. More deliveries coming through. We got 34, 15 up over here. Yeah, this is looking great. This is looking great. Wow. Wow. Just absolutely wow. So pleased. Okay. The... I think we just build this overpass. Yeah, let's just build it. It is slow progress, isn't it? Yeah, it's very slow progress. Oh, but this section's almost done. That didn't take very long. Okay. You know what? I'm going to do one more thing, and then if it's not done by the end of that, we'll auto-build. So, up over here, I'm going to actually do two more things. Growing is happening. Okay. You're also growing. You're also growing. Okay. What I'm looking for is harvest. I'm looking for... You guys are almost ready to, to harvest. The reason why I'm looking for harvest is I would love to build new fields when existing fields are being harvested. Uh, because that way I can offset the harvest seasons. In theory. It, it also depends obviously on vehicle movement speed and stuff like that. But in theory, I'll be having a constant harvest season. When one set of fields, like, let's say all these fields are being harvested at the same time. Give or take, obviously, right? Um, like this one's a little behind, obviously. But if they're all being harvested at the same time, and then another set of four fields over here are being harvested at the same time, but they're being harvested six months apart from each other, then, again, in theory, we should be constantly producing crops. That's my that's my thinking there. That's what I want to try and do. So that was the one thing I wanted to check on. Unfortunately, not the opportune moment for that. But the other thing, okay. How do we, how do we even begin to do this? Um, if I bring food down here, I can't. This grain storage is useless. Not enough room for, uh, for food to be stored down over here. You're just a pumping harbor. Um, I could put, let's see, if I take a look at a warehouse. Warehouse, where are you? Storage, warehouse, yeah, these things are big. What I can do is I can, um, ooh, okay, I can do this kind of a thing. What are you? You are a cargo station. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, this might actually work. If I put you down over here. Hmm, all right, let's try this. Try this. Pop you down over here. Come on. Where'd you go? Not auto building. Are you over there? Get this road connected after um, other stuff is sorted. We get rid of this. Trying to pay for some of these. Again, not that expensive. Not the end of the world. Right on time? No, this is fuel coming here. We're supposed to store bitumen. We're supposed to store fuel. Oh, wow, the fuel over here, though, did get drained. So this ship is arriving right on time. Just a different kind of right on time. Okay, so the warehouse is connected up over there. Cool. Road cargo station. Um, actually, no, this doesn't work perfectly. Because what I need is I need a connection here. Okay. If I get rid of this silo here... Cause again, do I want to ship crops down or do I want to ship food down? That's the question. We're shipping crops. We have all the infrastructure we need already. But then the crops have to be delivered up to... Um, where are we? Up to here. To be manufactured into food and stuff over here and then distributed. Which is, I guess, easier to do. Okay, fine. Let's let's do that then. Let's do that. Alright, sure. Go ahead and get rid of this warehouse. Even though it did fit quite nicely. It was surprising. Um, this distribution office right now is dealing with all this. 
where are you unloading it at the grain storage number three could add another unload spot over here trying to figure out no that's not how we're gonna do it that's not how we're gonna do it how we're gonna do it is this we're going to get you you're loading up over here you're unloading over here it's all right i just gotta sort this out gotta figure out exactly how to ship crops down. Do I want to go with the distribution office or custom trucks? Part of me feels like custom trucks isn't a bad idea right now. Though they're harder to uh, manage the... Um, the... Uh, you know, percentage. Like, I, I like doing it based on percentages, right? Let's see, if I go to a warehouse, storage and warehouse, small distribution office, can I fit you over here? Oh, come on, man. Just short. It would have been so good if we could fit this over here. It would have been so nice. Guess I could destroy some of the roads. Um, and see if it lets me. I doubt it. Not the end of the world. We can instead do what up over here doesn't make sense because we got to get up to here, right? I also want to put a back lot over there. Damn. All right, let's try this. Let's try this. Go ahead and pause for a second. We'll just pay for these roads if we have to. We'll just pay for them if we have to. So small distribution office. Got to get rid of you as well. I want to keep this straight road down over here. There we go. Damn you up here. A little bit of smoothing. Okay. Road can come straight down over here, no problem. Right across over here. A little bit of smoothing. No, nope. yeah, a little bit. Sure. Connect you. Yes, excellent. Okay, beautiful. You're fine. We should connect this over here as well for easy refueling. Yeah, let's go ahead and upgrade these roads right away. I'm going to do it this way instead. You know what? We should be fine to auto-build. Like, to, to click auto-build, I mean. Go ahead and get all you done. Connect you as well. Does need to be a dirt road. And let's go ahead and pay for you too. Turn auto build off. Pay for you. Okay. I think just the small one should do the trick over here for, for what we need. This is a little funny looking, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, so you. Let's go ahead and purchase some covered hull. Um, go with three of you for now. You're going to pick them up where? You're going to pick up where? You're going to pick up at the grain storage, I want to say. Go ahead and pick up at the grain storage. Right, if it is more than 50%, because we do want to make sure there's grain, like crops available here as well. Uh, let's not say 50, let's say 25. How about that? Sure, let's say if there's more than 20%, um, we want to make sure you drop it off over here. Keep about 50%. Right, so that now brings... Uh, I don't know. We'll have to fidget with the numbers a bit. We'll have to fidget with the numbers a little bit. If, if the source building has more than 20%, you know what? No, let's say more than 30%. Then I want you picking it up. You're going to drive all the way there, eh? Okay, we, we need to upgrade this road then. Or, we need to make a connection over here. Which I thought we already have, but I'm clearly mistaken. Because this would be the faster way to get down here. Um... Significantly faster. Get rid of you. Road connection over here. And let's go ahead and get the pipes. Come on. Come on. There we go. Not that high. I think that's high enough. Nope. Ooh. That was a risky click. How about that? Nope. Cancel one more step. Come on. Oh my god. It wants to snap is the thing. Over, and there we go. Alright. Sorry, meant to just pay for that right off the bat. Done. So now the trucks should be able to come this way, cross over, and... Oh, you know what I should have done? Uh, where is the distribution office? My bad. I mean to unload, not there. But... 
here? The building's inca incompatible, really? Okay. Okay. Didn't think so. Road cargo station. Okay, sure. Have it your way. Have it your way. I uh, wish I hadn't cancelled when I did. I think I interrupted a delivery. Not not the end of the world. Again, this is not super, super urgent. Well, yes and no. Yes and no. I need to get a ship working this line as well. Now, do I want that ship to be the river cargo ship? Or do I want to buy a separate Frida, the big one? I wonder. I wonder. You go from there, come down here, you drop stuff off, and you go up over here, you load up on crops, 100%, you come back down over here, you unload crops, 100%, and then repeat the cycle. Maybe. I think I like this line. I think I want to do it with the Frida. Not 100% on, on, on any of these. But I think I want to do it with the Frida because it's a faster ship. But we'll we'll see. We'll see. Um, back up over here. Yeah, these trains are moving smooth. Great. Wonderful. Love it. Over here. Construction is jammed, I think. Yes, it is. Every so often. Every so often. As long as it's a rare occurrence, I guess. Fire spread to another building. We're done here. Yeah, we're good. Looks like we're good. Fast response. Um, now, food, here's the weird thing. Are these distribution offices working at the proper rate? Like, why do we only have 7.94 tons of food over there when there's so much food over here? We'll, uh, we'll, we'll need to, again, things aren't perfect, but there's certainly a surplus of crops. And right now, looks like it is harvest time for at least some of you guys. So let's go ahead and... Big field. Give me some flattening and stuff required over here. Go ahead and pop you down, though. Let's see. Road's a little... off, maybe. Drop you down over here. A little bit of an offset is not the end of the world. Will this fit over here? It should. Need flat terrain is all. Okay. Demolish you. Like from center, auto build using rubles. Just get her done, right? Let's just get her done. Not all that pricey. Not all that pricey, all things considered. The value of having money. <laughs> there we go. Nice and clear. There we go, there we go, there we go. Good stuff up over here. Yep. Pause for a second. The reason why I'm pausing is because I want to try and uh, line up the timings, right? Like, that's kind of the, the essence over here. Okay, pop you down over here. Pop the next one down. Yeah, it's weird. They're... Are they really that far off? Get rid of you. Okay. Can't be that far off. Okay. This is straight. Yeah, it was straight. All right, good. There we go, okay. Good stuff. Need flat terrain up top over there, alright. Right from center. Go ahead and pay for it. I'll take a lot of flapping up there. I say we start with just these. See if this works. And then move on from there. There we go. Yeah, why do I feel like it's not straight? Come on. Come on. Sure. Yeah, these are these are wonky. What have I what have I done? What have I done? Do I really want to put those down and live live with that for the rest of my life? This doesn't look right either. Jeez. God, God damn. This is my one, like, major gripe 
with this game is the rotation, it just doesn't work sometimes. This is one of those times. Okay, god damn. Alright, fine. I'll just accept it. I think I have to. My apologies. I was hoping we'd uh, we'd find like a happy like middle ground or something, but it'll just have to be slightly offset unless I want to spend the next 30 minutes rotating and re-rotating and triple rotating. Alright, so those are our new fields. Let's go ahead and get you to work on them all. And again, my hope is that we have spread out the timing nicely enough that we're going to get harvest all around, right? Like, these guys are still growing a little bit, but this is harvesting, so hopefully that'll... These are both harvesting right now. So hopefully, you know, two will be growing. Again, it's like... There's sowing, there's growing, and then there's harvesting. So maybe I'm a little off. We'll see, we'll see. Let's see if this works, right? That's all we can kind of do right now. Um, but, with all that said and done, this thing still needs building. I mean, we're making okay progress. Making okay progress. I do want to see if it works, though. Hmm. Ah, maybe we just build it. Who knows if the vehicles are even going to use it, right? Let's just build it. Let's just build it all. Cool, cool, cool. get you done. Get you done. Oh, it's so nice to just have that kind of money to just be able to, like, yeah, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. Like, from time to time, obviously, not uh, not with everything. Like I said earlier, right, half the fun is building stuff on our own. But I think, uh, I, I'm personally very curious to see if this works. Uh, which is a, a big driving force in this decision to just pay for all this, because I want to see it. I want to see it right now, in action. Okay. Okay. Last couple of sections here. There, there, and... There, and now we just have to wait and see how the vehicles react. Waypoints we can obviously use. Oh my god, look at that flow of people. Look at all these people. Look at all these people. Um, but yeah, with uh, with certain vehicles, we can always use waypoints to, to direct them. But what about other vehicles? That's the thing. Will they by default see this as a viable path? Will it make a difference if I have these things upgraded? Right? Or has this just been a massive waste of time and money. Do that. Let's do this. Again, I like it in theory. Like it in theory. So far, no use. Who would use this? Maybe the cars when the time comes? Anybody heading down over here, right, would, would probably use this. And I'm hoping that the people headed down over here again, driving down especially, would use that. But... Who knows? Who knows if this will actually see any uh, any action? It's really wild to see it though, just existing. It is a strange strange sight in a game where we haven't done much uh, bridge building and whatnot. To have this like main flyover through the uh, center of our biggest city. Lots of progress on these tracks as well. We're rounding the second bend now. Pretty soon this movement's gonna start, so that's great. And. Uh, Fuel and, I mean, geez, this year, we still imported a bit of fuel, but look at that. Look at that graph. Look at that graph. Been a long time. Still a couple of spots of import, so I want to see what that's about. I want to see what's going on over there. Um, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Exciting times. Exciting times ahead, but I did also notice one other thing Our vehicle production line is done Wow a lot happened this episode uh, now there is this mechanical components factory that still needs building which apparently was ignored by the uh, construction um, Offices so we'll get that job done uh, the roads need to be upgraded. There's some factory connections that need building as well We'll get those assigned too. Shouldn't take too long to do. Um, get you going as well. I feel like, again, this is one of those areas that we can just, like, have... We can totally have a claim that we've built the whole thing ourselves. So, so close to the finish line. Outside of this one factory connection crossing, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. I guess all these other parts need to be built first. Well, not all of them, but at least one of them. Um, 
but yeah, so let's 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 let the uh, nation build this. We do still have to build these tracks as well. Still a little bit of work left to do over here. Uh, hopefully that gets done soon. Hopefully that gets prioritized. Uh, what's going on here? We are not assigned. Let's go ahead and assign you continue construction. I'm sure it'll get auto assigned. Well, I shouldn't say I'm sure, but we'll see. Um, so yeah, this is. I mean, this is coming real soon. This is coming real soon. Uh, we'll see what's up with the whole food crop situation that we're trying to set up right now. Uh, maybe there'll be a, a big change coming around the bend here as well. I mean, there's, uh, there's a lot happening. This was a dense session, folks. We got a lot done. I hope you all enjoyed this one. I certainly did. Next session is going to be another wild one with a lot happening. Um, might finally start producing our cars. Might finally see some more, uh, you know, movement happening. Uh, hopefully we'll see this uh, flyover get used, but this is where we're going to call it a session. Uh, like, I'm not even sure what the highlight... Like, normally I go like, oh yeah, this was the key thing in today's episode. But with, with today's episode, it's just like there was so much going on. Uh, I don't even know what to highlight. Like, was the fuel and the bitumen the core of the episode? Was that flyover the core of the episode? Was getting, uh, you know, food and farming happening once more the core of the episode? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I'm uh, but I'm definitely uh Oh god, I, I was I was I promise you I was just going to say I'm feeling pretty pumped, but uh, I guess I should say I'm I'm fueling pretty pumped. I feel like this captures everything that happened in today's session. We got the docks, we got the fields off in the distance, we've got the grain silo off in the distance, we've got the uh fuel train over here. Yeah, I think this captures today's episode. Man, that, that was this was this was a this was a busy one. This was a busy one. I'm super happy with this one, folks. The next one's going to be wild as well. Like I said, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. And as always, of course, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, das Vidanya.